The Walking Dead update in Rogue Company is just around the corner. Today I'm going to be covering every single piece of content coming in the update and also discussing what this means for the future of Rogue Company. Now obviously the main thing about this update are the three main cosmetics. A Rick skin for Dallas, a Michonne skin for Lancer, and a Negan skin for Dima. I apologize if I butchered any of those names. I actually have never seen The Walking Dead before. This is the, my first exposure to it. I think the Rogue Company community as a whole definitely wants to see more collaborations down the line. For example, IO Interactive's Agent 47 for Fixer, for example, would be an extremely good collaboration. Speaking of Fixer, he is getting a lot of reworks this update. For starters, his thermal vision will now make a bigger glow on the head and chest, allowing him to deal extra damage and making it more obvious in smoke grenades. This is a really cool buff and it definitely is interesting to allow him to deal extra damage in those areas. His passive has also been reworked to now where his bullets will circumvent armor. This makes him a hard counter towards rogues such as Anvil who have 175 HP with that armor. He only has to deal 100 damage to be able to fully down Anvil and this will make him a hard counter and a really good rogue in draft picks to allow him to counter those high armored rogues. The next big change goes to Chak. Now, this doesn't apply to when Chak is self-reviving, but if anyone else but him is reviving him, he will be able to dodge roll. Now, this is extremely good because if Dahlia is insta-reviving you whilst you're still in a gunfight, you won't be able to get away from that gunfight because they're reviving you. So now you'll be able to roll when anyone else is reviving you. And this is an extremely good change and definitely will be able to help you get away from gunfights a lot easier. Lastly, Rogue Company is now adding weekly contracts towards the agenda. And honestly, this is a good way to earn a little bit of reputation and I am all for it. So here are some of my thoughts. First of all, I understand this update at heart is just a couple of cosmetics and rogue reworks and I definitely want to see Rogue Company focus more on bugs and glitches and be able to smooth them out and overall smoothen the player experience. They also should start tackling hackers a lot more. But thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys all next time. Bye bye.